A little bit of light could go a long way in the path to transforming modern medicine. This is why University of Virginia chemistry professor Scott Murphy works with light-sensitive compounds to determine their possibilities for use in drug delivery. So what a photochromic compound is, is a compound that when it absorbs light, it changes color. Hoping to create a medicinal application, his research team places these unique compounds into the membranes of spherical liposomes. The idea is that we're going to shine light on these systems using fiber optics and laser systems. And when the compounds absorb the light, they'll undergo a structural change as well as a color change. But it's a structural change that hopefully will cause a disruption in the membrane and allow any kind of drug that we incorporate inside that liposome to leak out and do its uh, therapeutic uh, effect. This innovative technique will allow drug therapies to focus only on diseased body cells, therefore cutting back on negative side effects. He says the team has made big strides so far. And we're starting to see the first signs of actual release of encapsulated compounds from the interior to the exterior. And so we're very close to being able to scale this up to a more practical application. Throughout his university career, Professor Murphy has enjoyed training the next generation of scientists, like Jared Moore, who hopes to take his interest in chemistry to obtain a master's degree and find fulfilling work. I personally would like to be in a pharmaceutical industry uh, making medicinal compounds or uh, things that have medicinal purposes. Uh, to me that's rewarding, having to synthesize something that has an importance to not just, you know, us, but, you know, to humanity as well. Amani Farhat is an undergrad student who joined the lab team through the RISE Exchange Program. She explains her enthusiasm for chemistry in general and this project in particular. It's never been done before. Well, the, <laughs> the, uh, the quantum yield calculations have been done, but no one's ever actually put these type of compounds in liposomes for the purpose of control of drug delivery. It's, it's everywhere. Wherever you turn, there's chemistry, right? Put it back.